You are welcome to another video of the course F5 Big IT Advanced WAF or ASM. In this section, we are going to discuss and demonstrate another security feature of F5 Advanced WAF, brute force protection, which protects web applications from unauthorized access attempts using tools like CAPTCHA, IP blocking page, DROP, client side scripting, and honeypot page, all which will be demonstrated in this section. To begin demonstration, I will use the security policy created in the previous lesson in the section security, application security, security policy and policy list, security policy with the name of auction. This policy is based on comprehensive security policy and it is assigned to hack it yourself. Web application with enforcement mode to blocking to block brute force attacks if necessary. The learning and blocking setting were also configured in the previous lesson. Application security, policy building, and learning and blocking setting. Under sessions and logins, there is a violation with the name of brute force maximum login attempts are exceeded, which is relevant to this demonstration. Ensure that both alarm and block for this specific violation is already activated which we have activated in the previous lesson to configure brute force protection we also need to inform f5 advanced WAF of the web applications login page this was also configured in the previous section i will review it just for clarity in the section policy and in the security policy actions on the session and logins and in the section login page already we have configured the property of login page. If we edit, we have already configured login URL slash user underline login.php authentication type HTML form and the parameter which are transferred through the login page which we have extracted using inspection and the parameter name are also exactly username and password and the condition in which F5 Advanced WAF can make sure that the authentication was successful. If the login is successful, the user will receive an HTTP response code 302 indicating a redirection to another page which is the sign of successful authentication. But the core of brute force protection configuration takes place under the security policy and advanced setting and then brute force protection and here we can create a new brute force protection policy we create in the top of the page login page we specify the login page which we have already configured and we have just reviewed and three main configuration part leaked credential detection which is out of our discussion source based brute force protection and distributed brute force protection you can configure the number of fail attempts per username per device ip and per ip address within a specific detection period 60 minutes that are considered a brute force attack additionally you can set how long prevention measures such as captcha will be enforced once a brute force attack is detected known as maximum prevention duration which by default is 60 minutes for simplicity i will disable the brute force detection by username or based on username and also device id and only enable detection based on the ip address to simplify understanding Additionally, I will adjust the number of allowed fail attempts from 20 to 3 to make demonstration easier. When a brute force attack is detected, we have a few options to mitigate against the attack, all of which will be demonstrated in this section. With alarm action, an event log is generated to notify administrators of a detected brute force attack blocking page action redirects the attacker to a blocking page informing them that their access has been 
temporarily blocked capture action challenge the suspended attacker with a captcha to prevent automated script from continuing their brute force attacks and client side integrity action runs javascript code in the client side browser to ensure that interaction between client browser and server has not been tampered with by a malicious script as a user you typically won't notice anything directly but if there is an issue such as a fail integrity check you might encounter capture or block actions drop action discard brute force attacks traffic preventing it from reaching the web application and finally honeypot page action redirect the attacker to a honeypot page instead of the actual login or target this fake page is designed to look legitimate to deceive attackers and gather information on their activities now we will test each of these actions uh, starting with alarm and capture for each action we will also change the client ip address since we are monitoring brute force attack based on ip address to simulate login failures we will send empty username and password in the login page of the web application now we will submit an empty username and password multiple times to observe the result of alarm and capture action let's check in the alarm and uh, capture and then add and then we will apply the new security policy and now we can test send once again send once again send and once again send as we expected the user is prompted to complete a capture wd z e f3 and submit additionally if we check the event log and filter the logs based on brute force attacks in the section event logs and request application request and here filter based on violation brute force maximum login attempts and then apply we see the last event is related to brute force maximum login attempts as exceeded and if we check the details if we see that request status is challenged and for the next demonstration we will change the action to alarm and blocking page in the security policy action advanced protection and brute force prevention and user login and we change the action to alarm and blocking page and then update we also need to apply the new security policy and at the same time we will change also the client ip address from 175 to 176 and then ok and again we can test with going to the login page and one two three and we see that the request url was rejected as we expect and if we check the event log in the event log and filter based on brute force attack and apply and the last event log shows that the enforcement action is blocked and the violation is brute force maximum login attempts are exceeded and next we will demonstrate the next action we will change it from alarm and blocking to alarm and drop and again apply the new policy and at the same time we change the IP address of the client to 177 and again we will try to attack the web application with brute force in the login page 
three, and as you see, this website is not reachable since the traffic is dropped by F5 Advanced Faf, and therefore you can distinguish between blocking and dropping. In the blocking, you will be redirected to a page in F5 Advanced Faf that your brute force attack is blocked or your traffic is blocked, but in drop, you cannot reach the web application or a five advanced stuff anymore since the traffic is dropped. And if we check again the event log and the last event log, we see the enforcement action is TCP reset, which means the session is actually dropped. For the next demonstration, we will select alarm and honeypot page as the action and apply the new policy and at the same time we will change the IP address of the client again to 178 and ok and we will try again to do brute force attack through the web application in the login page and 1, 2, 3 and then 4 this is the honeypot page which shows username or password is incorrect please try to log in again it's important to note that this page is not generated by web application but rather by honeypot functionality of f5 advanced web to verify this you can uh, check again the application event log with refresh and the last event log and in the enforcement action you see honeypot page which is the result of this demonstration and as the final demonstration we will change the action to alarm and client side integrity update and apply new security policy before simulating the brute force attack again we will change the client IP address as 179 and then ok and again through the login page of web application we will try to do brute force attacks the result may not be as visible as with other methods Typically, you might notice the page pausing briefly without displaying anything, indicating that the security measures are actively working in the background. Let's check. One, two, three, and four, and five. You see here, shows that something is happening. And if we go to the event log of the web application and refresh the page, and the last event log you can see the enforcement action as alarm and the previous one client side integrity this is exactly what we expected 